All right, guys, we are back for another ESPN MIC highlight reel. What a freaking week, guys. Alex, I got to start with this, guys. I got to start with this. Alex did the completion of the 35K account challenge, guys. If you've been living under a rock, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. Alex started the year at January 1st, 2023 with a $35,000 account. He had one mission this entire year was to get this account to $1 million and show you guys every day through the watch list, through the live commentary in our community, through the video library list of how possible it is for you guys to do the same thing. And if not pushing the exact same numbers, guys, to show you and not to celebrate Alex or anything, not his skills, to celebrate MIC process working. So guys, don't get daunted and don't get you know, uh, in comparison mode on thinking, oh my gosh, if Alex can turn 35K into 1 million in 55 trading days under four months in 2023, and I can't, don't, guys, you're not a loser. You're not a failure or anything like that. Alex has been trading a while, but it still is the same process that we teach every single day within our community. It's the same lines. It's the same live commentary. It's the same fills you guys are doing. It's just Alex might be a little more akin to use bigger size. So don't beat up on yourself, but it's time to celebrate this because you guys have to understand how pivotal this is as nothing was hidden. Nothing was left out. Guys, we showed you everything every single day of Al how Alex literally daily of these 55 days turned 35 into 37 into 40 into 45 into 100,000 into 200 upwards of a million plus guys he did it to celebrate this we are doing a discount for $99 for the first month there's only a couple days left guys go to myinvestingclub.com click the sale right here you are going to get your first introductory month there's only three days left get your introduction month for a very discounted rate, this will not be here for long. But let's dive right in, guys. So that's the sale. That's Alex's completion of the small account challenge to show you what is possible at MIC. We leave nothing out. Guys, let's get into it. So Monday was very interesting. Alex made 2300 another slow day in small cap land, but still able to squeeze water out of a rock. I love that. $2,300 is water out of a rock. Did well waiting for Coep, C-O-E-P, on this day, guys, uh, the 27th on Monday. Um, to ba uh, And what he did was he was waiting for so Coep, Soap, whatever you want to say it, C-O-E-P to bounce and short into resistance. Perfect from the watch list. Going to walk away before zombie times and stick to the MIC process. So what Alex was saying on the watch list was maybe a bounce towards one. 92 to 210 with a 230 stop guys he literally did just that on obviously the morning push right here covered up made his money and then uh and i mean i mean there's not much more to say about that guys it's just perfect process right here in the morning cut up before zombie hours and he is done now let's see what the members were doing on monday i want to showcase a couple members what they were kind of focused on we always like to showcase our members results and success because you guys are doing great every single day every single week hooper x i love this parabolic move on outer lines covered up for the wash right before zombie hours go to your day job man seriously if you have one uh fabian right off the watch list following you know alex's commentary on so up i love that beautiful beautiful job uh, Hooper X again. I love this, you know, a uh, day two, day three, day four, guys. Any type of low hanger after day one, man, those red to green moves are just great. And he found resistance right there, covered up. Awesome job. Uh, Ch Chuck J. And here's the thing, guys, on any low hanging fruit play, as long as it's still in play, you have to understand just because, you know, day one happened and it might be day 16 does not necessarily mean there's an edge. So whatever you're trading on a low hanging fruit day, make sure they're still in play, make sure there's still an edge, make sure there's still volatility and LI offered just that for Hooper X. So I just want to make that clear. It's not like one stock runs, then for the rest of time, there's an edge every single day. It's not like that, guys. You have to understand true edge. I love what Chuck J did here on PYXS, waited for the massive stuff, got in. Got, that's just a beautiful scalp and a good use of lines right here. I would have loved if he would have added right there as per plan at the line, but uh, this is great too. Uh, let's see, going back. E on Coep. Again, guys, members following the watch list. Really good job. Got a little FOMO there, didn't you, E? But awesome, awesome job at 190. Uh, probably willing to scale up to 220 and 230, like Alex was saying, uh, in the watch list. And just just really nice. You guys, I'm telling you guys, you got to use the watch list every single day. It's a banger. So... Alex actually got clipped a little bit on Tuesday, $6,800 clip negative, 
Tough day today. VKTX was very weak pre-market, which fooled me in a shorting a bounce. Gave myself three strikes on it and lost on all, on it three times. I'll just kind of bring it up for reference, guys, so you can see what was happening. Uh, I do believe that was the 28th, so that was right here. Um, Alex said, you know, and, and look, every now and then this happens, guys. You would think... You would think the stock is up pre-market. It's actually put a nice little top in. This is going to be an outer line play. Guys, and, and, and here's the thing. It offered an outer line scalp, which if you're a quick, you could have got this. But guys, when these things hold and they're deviated or review, this thing just kept going. So, you know, every now and then something is just not going to play the way you want it to. This is why we have hard stops. This is why you save yourself a mountain of stress and a pile of money by stopping out. And obviously this thing was literally like just continuing on as the days go by. But that day one was tough. So... Alice gave himself three tries on it with today's action on OSCR, PYXS, and BMEA. It looks to me like the market sentiment is shifting in favor for longs, which as you'll see, a lot of our members guys have been longing this week and doing great, which means we should have more opportunities in the coming days as we're not just a short community at, at all. We do everything. Kept losses under control today, which I'm happy about. So, you know, guys, again, 6,800 is a paper cut for Alex. It's literally less than a paper cut. It's like a splinter you don't even notice. Then a week later, you're like, oh, I got a splinter in my thumb. <laughs> That's kind of what this is. Um, so very manageable, very small for Alex. This could have been a couple hundred grand loss if he would have just let this go to the heavens, right? So you have to understand how controlled this is, how mitigated, and that's a serious win for Alex, keeping losses so small. And then let's see what the members were doing on Tuesday. Brian coming in right here. Let me kind of zoom this for you. I love this long on VKTX. He caught a really nice long in that hold, sold in the rips. Great freaking job in the inverse. Uh, again, Ryan Conley, SI long, beautiful hold right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love how he drew the line right where it was like failing before, guys, right where those tops are, and he's selling into that. That's what you should be doing. So while a sell for a long might be a good entry for a short and vice versa, depending on the situation, it's always good to know where your lines are. E on PYXS, beautiful job. I love this. Front side shorts require front side covers. He did just that. Even if, even if, because the way he made this, he, the way he worded this, this might be a losing trade, guys, but it's so manageable. So even if it is a small loser, I know it would be small and a really good job. Again, coin, low hanging fruit, right in a red to green. Love it. Hooper X, great job. Steve on OSCR, thesis playing out beautifully, still holding 20%. Sheesh, that's a really nice play, a really nice hold. Deviate over VWAP, buy the dips until it doesn't work, sell the rips, hold a piece for a home run trade. Steve, you're a rock star, buddy. One of our lifetime members. Awesome, awesome job. All right, guys, coming into Wednesday, Alex got a little bit of his footing back, and I'm sure his only goal was to get green, which he did. That's why he only had a 1K win. Although today was a small day for me, I'm very happy with my trades, basically saying get back on the horse, and more importantly, my stops on PYXS and OSCR. PYXS, when low of day broke, but immediately reclaimed, that was my signal to get out. OSCR, VWAP reclaim was my signal to get out. Overall, happy with the action, picking up in the markets again, slow and steady, wins the race. So I only have a couple charts right here, guys, for you real quick for the sake of time. There's a lot more we can get into, but let's go over a couple of these. So Alex on, I do believe the 29th, right? Yeah, the 29th, that's going to be right here. <laughs> it's just the pump and dump. There's not much more to say on this, guys. It stuffs out. Alex sees the stuff. He gets in, adds, covers, uh, even under VWAP covers. Just, just beautiful. Adds even under VWAP. I love that. And uh, it's just a pump and dump went way, way, way south for whoever was pumping it. Welcome to pump and dumps. Um, OSCR on the 29th let me kind of pull back so that's 28 29 boom boom and uh yeah i love this i love this in fact i think i'm pretty sure that was on the watch list as well yep OSCR. This trap shorts yesterday, which obviously you can see we're on day two right here, which is a more edge for shorts. Um, and now that it is day two, I'm looking for a bounce towards 6, 625, and 650 to short. Guys, did just that. 6, 625. Alex is right in there, covered the wash, as you can see, and and cut it perfectly because he could kind of feel this, you know, this VWAP was holding, man. And if volume picks in and VWAP holds and you're getting in the zombie hour, guys, you just got to be careful. So, you know, while this was, I, I, I'm pretty sure a win for Alex on that. Let me go back to the 
uh, PNL, PYX. At, yeah, he had a small win on it. Not big. His biggest win was GNS on the pump and dump. But yeah, a couple, you know, I mean, that's basically a scratch trade for Alex. But it's really well managed, guys. He didn't get greedy. He didn't turn into a loser because it would have been. Look at this thing, thing reclaim and do that. But again, that's where discipline, that's where process, that's where time-based trading, all of this stuff is so pertinent and so unbelievably important for you to execute daily and to know how and when. I mean, guys, trading is like a, it's like a battlefield of landmines sometime. And, 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 and just knowing how to execute or find these landmines and, you know, navigate around them is very important. That's why Bao always used the analogy of the trading fish and you're just a fish in the open or uh, in the ocean swimming around sharks and you're just like a guppy. So you kind of just have to accept that every now and then and just know where the landmines are or the big sharks or the freaking landmines in the water. What are those called again? You know, whatever guys, you know, sunken warheads that have been in use in a hundred years. TTs on CVNA. I love this beautiful job, beautiful use of lines. Great work. Great work. Steve coming in with another long, awesome job on EVNX holding. So he's really good at these holds, man. Really, really good. Buy the dips until they don't work. Hooper X, I love what he did right here. Wait for this bastard that's super parabolic to top out. Hit the bounce, cover the wash. That is MIC process in a nutshell. Reasonably Izzy. Guys, you guys are killing it on the longs this week. I'm so excited to see that because it just goes to show you that no matter what the market conditions are doing, there's an edge on, and obviously guys, every now and then there's more of an edge short or there's more of an edge long depending on cyclical markets and what's going on. But man, you guys are prepared no matter what the markets are doing and that's what MIC teaches. So Steve, lifetime member, while I'm not obsessed with this trade, I do like it for a couple reasons. Death candle happens. Looks like Steve might be a little bit more of a longer. I'm not 100% sure. I just see a little foam on here, Steve, and like this is just a quick critique that will help you versus tear you down at all. This is just for help. It's always good to wait for a pop, brother. So, you know, as much as we think like, you know, this is going lower right here, we see all this weakness, let's get in because it's going to go down here. Guys, it's always best just wait for the pop. Just always, always, always wait for the pop or miss because if you would have had an average that was a lot more top heavy than bottom heavy, you know, catching up probably wouldn't have stopped out, probably would have paid himself and then got out, you know, you know, break even or 10% in a loss or even a small loss, you know, which obviously this looks like a small loss. But the point is, is I could, I could see you cleaning up your entries just a little bit on those scales, bro. It looks like a little FOMO right there. But honestly, this is a great trade. Got in, didn't work and then cut it. You know, you got to celebrate the losers too. So, you know, Steve, good job there as well, buddy. Um, we are coming in Thursday's guy. Actually, I don't think Alex traded on Thursday or Friday. He's traveling, but I wanted to bring up some bow charts on what Bao was doing because you know he trades everything. Bow on W-I-N-T. I love this. Caught the morning pump and dump. Under VWAP, guys. He just played the trend sentiment. I loved it. Uh, B-E-M-A, red to green push, shorted, covered under, and then covered under again once it retested. Just beautiful job. Bow following sentiment, as he usually does. Wait for Waits for these parabolic scales, covers, front side shorts require front side covers. Then once it puts in a major top, you wait for these pops and then, you know, get in and cover. Beautiful job. Uh, S-C-Y-X, pretty much the same thing, guys. Bow hitting sentiment, hitting where the stock fell before, and... It's just really clean. He's getting a lot better on his exits too. Bao is literally holding for a lot longer than he ever used to. So I love seeing the progression of somebody who's even been in the industry 20 years and is your main educator. Like guys, we're never not learning. You're students for life. Welcome to the markets. Welcome to, look, welcome to anything in life, but it's specifically trading. Tom Connor, I love this. Really good job, you know, doing exactly what about us, you know, wait for the stock to top out, get in, you know, cover the washes, and then, you know, again, where did it fail before? Beautiful holds. Great job. Great, great, great job. David, I love this cut right here. He tried on PYXS. This was kind of a bummer for a lot of traders. Not just in MIC, guys, everywhere. Every now and then a stock is just going to, like, I'll pull it up. Every now and then a stock is just going to be a bit of a, it's, it's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough. So, you know, as you guys can see, we are on the 30th, which was this day, just making sure. 
Uh, I mean, you don't even have to check the date. I mean, look at this squeeze. This was the day that everybody was like, oh my God, you know, the stock is, holy crap, like we got to stop out if we're hitting the morning. So that's what happened here. David, really good risk management. I mean, look at how good this risk management guys is. Like our members are stopping out right here as they should. Brandon as well. Um, split letter, really good job on Polly. I think that we had another trader stop out right there. So guys, if you get in a stock and it doesn't work out, I'm telling you right now, you need risk management really good job soy sauce on scaling aplm and a beautiful hold really really clean really clean you guys are developing a lot more discipline and a lot more patience and then guys we came in today with uh what was it spro and then pally give me a sec so, you know, really good job. Bao always doing what he does best, catching these pump and dubs, catching these, you know, little, these little runners that don't have much in them and top ticking and then, you know, bottom wicking. He's just, he's just a killer. And then, uh, and then on Pally, just really clean, really good job. But let's see what the members were doing right here as I'm trying to speed this up a little bit more for time. I like to keep these short and sweet. Uh, Antonio, awesome job. Look at this, guys. Look at this. So, I love this. GMVD, a lot of our members caught this day. Death, look at this. Death Candle Catch, Death Candle Catch. Ila, Elias, P.O. Death Candle Catch. Oh my God. Yeah, see, that's a that's always a bummer. He's like, dang, I had covers ready. It's like, these are perfect covers, guys, but, you know, on any other play. But when you get something like this, you're like, why did I have covers in? And welcome to trading, guys. Welcome to trading. But you guys caught this, and you guys did a great job. Uh, LMAC on Pally, beautiful as well. Um, you know, PYXS, Bjorn, beautiful job, guys. You, you crushed it this week. So, you know, our members... Members crust it, guys. They always do. This is the education every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year since 2018, guys, since we've been in operation. And we're going strong and we're not stopping anytime soon. So let me show you a couple things, guys. This is our Slack channel. This is our chat room right here. This is an after hours channel. Every single day, what you want to do is you want to start in the watch list. This is where the mentorship happens, guys. Morning, pre-market, what is going on based on the day? You know, what's happening? Why do we have an edge? What are the lines? Take that to the main trading chat. This is going to be where the small caps are talked about, timestamped, in order, commentary, fills, charts, warnings, um, advice, jokes every now and then, anything. Large cap and options, this is exactly what it sounds like, guys. If you're not a small cap trader, we got it. We have no pun intended, but we've got another option for you. And that's the large cap and options room. We got swing trading, guys. We have everything you can imagine. Small caps, big caps, options, swing trading. So if you go right here and you click after hours, this is where the fun happens. This is where like past events are. This is where you know, po post your <laughs> extravaganzas, a few from Live Golf today. How sick is that? Like, share your food. Andrew Tate just got released. Like, it's like almost a news forum. And what's ironic is, it must be a coincidence you guys get out on the release of The Matrix, March 31st. Like, what the heck? This must be a simulation, dude. But uh, it's just a lot of fun, guys. This is what community looks like. Look at our member, Trade Eric, making some nice food or going out to get nice dinner and sharing it with us. How fun is that? That looks great. Dang. That, that really made me hungry. <laughs> uh, damn, I'm really hungry. <laughs> Point is, guys, is this is how we have fun as a community. This is how we showcase everything. You know, members showing success. Math, Diego, you disciplined bastards are doing so good, man. I love it. And this is what the power of the community is, guys. Thousands of members all working together for the same results and the same experience and the same benefits and just wanting to get better as a trader. So if I go to myinvestingclub.com, which I'm on right now, guys, again, click this link. You have three days more, pr practically four, 23 hours, three days and 23 hours. Guys, you have four days left to lock this in. For the first month, it's $99. We are not offering this anytime soon. Again, this is to celebrate Alex's major milestone to show you what is possible. $35,000 account into a million, 55 trading days. Took him less than four months. Guys, it's unbeatable. So not only is our mentorship and our education unbeatable compared to anybody else on the internet, this is an unbeatable offer. So take this offer, and uh, if you don't, you're crazy and you don't want it bad enough. And if you need to see a little bit more, click our one hour free training or book a call with myself. Yours truly, book a time slot on my Google Calendar. Let's get on the phone, let's iron out your issues, whatever questions you have about joining MIC, and we will talk about it all, guys. One thing I wanna show you is the video library list. I should be signed in. 
Give me one sec. If we go to the video library, guys, what you're going to see is so much like content right here that you can watch. Search feature, what are you looking for? FOMO, some of our proprietary trading strategies. we got a full curriculum. If you go right here, Alex's live trades, guys. These are past examples, exclusive to Lifetime members, so you will have to text me to upgrade or DM me in chat. But guys, you're going to get access to Alex recording his screens live while he's trading, adding in audio commentary after it's unbelievable you cannot beat the education of seeing alex make sixty seven thousand dollars live twelve thousand dollars live eleven thousand four hundred live nine hundred five you know fifty one hundred guys this is daily this is our daily occurrence this is daily mentorship so again guys go to the website book a call download our free you know webinar you know sign up for the 99 while you have the chance to and if text me for a discounted lifetime or annual uh but guys you know this is a very limited time to celebrate alex's major milestone and i'll leave you with this let me find really quick wait how do i find any oh not right there hold on what's that applications i always i always go to the finder for some reason calculator guys check this out all right this is this is tradition so let's see all right so t we'll do the pluses first or actually, we'll do the negative first. Uh, okay, so 6,800 minus, what is that? 2,300 and 1,000. I'll just put 3,300, which that is. So, uh, okay, so Alex lost 30. That's a negative, guys. Alex lost 3,500 this week. D d that's nothing, guys. It's barely a scratch. It's not even a paper cut. It's like a dollar on his cushion. So... You know, again, you're not ever, you're not always going to win. You're not always going to have a positive week. But as long as you follow your plan, as long as you stick to process, guys, that's what matters. So you can do, I mean, there's a reason, guys. bow has been a trader for 10 years. Alex has been, or I'm sorry, 20 years. Alex has been a trader for 10 years. If you have risk management, if you cut your losers when they're small, which these are small numbers for Alex, you know, and it's all relative per trader, you're going to be in the game for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. Do this until you die. I mean, Bao always jokes, man, when he's old and he can't move his hands, he's going to he's gonna telepathically do it through Neuralink or he's going to use his fucking toes, man. He's going to use his feet. So the whole point, guys, is protect yourself, get real mentorship, real education. You know, Alex just hit an unbelievable milestone. We have to put some attention on that as you can do this too. And we teach all the methods that got Alex there. So sign up for MIC, text my line, book a call, email us guys, sign up, free webinar, hit that 99 special. And this has been the ESPN MIC highlight reel. And guys, we will do this again next week. I love recapping the week for you guys and keeping you motivated, keeping you foundationally Correct. Making sure you're focusing on the fundamentals, guys. It's all in the foundation. It's all in the simplistics so that you can go forward each day confident and ex know exactly how to execute and what you're doing. And if you're wrong every now and then, which we're wrong, we're wrong every now and then. You're going to, you're, look, guys, you're going to take 10 trades and lose on one or two. You got to protect yourself, guys. And I'll leave you with that. I'll see you next week.